All right, let me show you a cool technique that I came up with. This here is a model of a temple that I just finished. And what I like to do with these temples is I like to print them hollow uh, so that I can put a little light box under them. And I'm going to show you how to do this. The technique basically involves uh, printing with 0% um, bottom thickness and using infill effectively as the uh, support material for inside. And I'll show you in Cura how to do that. This is what it looks like after I took the infill out. It's, it's pretty clean. You can see how smooth that is in there. It's not perfect, but it's pretty darn good. And then um, kind of what it looks like on the plaque with the light underneath it. It's, I'm, I'm very happy with it. Okay, so let me show you this technique. First, let's uh, show you that, yep, yes, this is in fact a solid object and, you know, that these uh, entries have, you know, they're kind of overhanging, right? So, of course, we need support for the entries. So let me go ahead and, um, I already sliced it, so I'll just show you what it looks like. Um, of course, we've got our support under there, just kind of minimal, and we've got our infill that's tr acting as support. Now, the reason why is we've got a wall thickness of 1.6 um, millimeters to make the wall thick enough that it, it'll, you know, be st solid, stable. Um, a top of 1.6 and then a bottom of zero. But then the infill, I just simply gave it a 10% concentric infill, right? One thing else that I like to do, um, depending on if there's frail parts of a model, is I like to give it a horizontal expansion. And basically what it does is it takes things like, um, well, let me pull this down and I'll show you right there. So notice how this little window area has kind of a fragile post. Um, without the 1.6, um, or excuse me, 0.6 horizontal expansion, that post might be a little bit thin and, and might be extra fragile. So that horizontal expansion can be um, extra nice in that regard. And actually, if you've seen my um, Star Wars battleship set on Thingiverse, um, I detail in there to use horizontal expansion because some of the, the prongs on some of those ships are very, very thin and, and need that ex horizontal expansion. So let's get back to this. Okay, so there's uh, two things that we want. Um, one is that we want that infill support. We already figured that out, right? But along with that, we want the, the surface of this for the infill to not stick to it very well. And we also don't want the bottom of this overhanging platform to be missing, right? We want that to touch the support material instead of having some infill on the very bottom. Okay, so let's solve those two problems. So problem one, let's uh, let's fix our flat platform here. Uh, go back to prepare. What we're going to do to use to do that is this um, support blocker. All right. Now I had to play around to figure out how to actually get the support blocker working, and I think it works better now with the most recent versions of Cura than when I first learned this. But um, I thought, you know, you just click on the support blocker and then you click on the on the model, right? Well, sometimes you actually have to hold down. So I'm going to select the model, click Support Blocker, and then you hold the mouse button down until it appears. Once it appears, then you can let go of the mouse button. And then that's been very consistent working for me. And then notice once I've created it, I actually clicked on the blocker itself to just select it and not the model. Because the things I'm going to do now, I only want to apply to the blocker, not the model. For example, size. I uncheck the uniform scaling because I want this to be a different shape than square. And I'm going to make it a little longer, a little wider, yeah, probably about there. Let's make it uh, taller, about like that sure, um, except for that's not quite where we want it. Let's bring it down some. And then let's also bring it, let's go zoom in here. I want you to take care of all of that overhang area. So let's right there looks good. Okay, excellent. Now, the last thing is with a support blocker, it's not going to do anything right now. It's just an, a kind of an object. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply some settings to it to make it do what we want. So in this area and only in this area, we want a bottom thickness of 1.6, just like the top and the walls. Okay. So now if I slice this again, and it'll take it a moment here. 
won't come over to preview so as soon as it's done we can see it all right so now I'm going to bring this down to where that was and remember before we had a little bit of infill so I'm going to click on this and arrow down on my keyboard to go one at a time now you'll notice okay we no longer have infill we jump straight to the solid so in other words this support blocker basically made it so that, that surface no longer has a zero bottom all right now one you know we want to apply that over here as well because remember that this guy has the same problem so I'm just gonna click on this guy and say multiply selected yep let's make one copy of it select that copy and we'll move it on this way right there except for that's not exactly where we want it so we'll step under here and oh it's pretty close um, slide it just a little bit further there we go that's where I want it okay now both of those are going to be good they're not going to have a bottom infill all right now the other issue that we have is we don't want the infill that's in this main body to stick to the surface quite so hard right um, and actually that that uh, cleaned out model that I showed you I actually printed a different model and I didn't do this technique right here and it stuck pretty bad so let me show you what I did again I'm going to take another support blocker uh, first I'm going to select the model support blocker and then click and oops there we go support blocker click and hold and there it goes it appears okay so now I'm going to size this guy nope whoops ha huh. make sure that you always select the support blocker so you don't apply your changes to the whole model yeah that helps okay here we go and I did make it too big let's go ahead and center it do, do, do right about there maybe and then we'll pull it back some um, it uh, when you go to pull it back sometimes it's kind of slow and it's sizing okay let's move it back over just a smidgen that's pretty good yep let's go with that okay so now I'm going to size it this way let's make it as wide as we want it that's a little far but let's center it first bring it right back yeah it's pretty close good enough and then we'll size it down just a little bit so that we're only looking at the area we are interested in all right now last step and this is the this is the cool part is we bring it so that the or cool part this is the part that makes it actually apply okay so we are about five so we want to go down 1.6 because that's our top thickness that would be 3.4 but then we want to go down another layer so 3.2 now slicing this isn't going to do anything again because we haven't applied anything to this block so let's go ahead and to our block say we don't want any infill so let's say infill density uh, yeah close come on over here and instead of 10% we want zero okay excellent now and I'm going to come back over here so that's not quite in the way there we are um, and slice let's come on over to our preview and actually we'll have to bring it up a bit because that's not where we want to see come here and okay so I'm gonna click on this and use the arrows on a keyboard to move one layer at a time and okay so we didn't quite get it low enough I think we we're close but you'll notice that if I come back over an arrow up and down I go straight from infill to the solid so let's come back over to our prepare and I think I was just shy of like you know like half the or a, a tenth of a millimeter or so so I'm gonna move it down just almost a tenth of a millimeter and slice let's come back over here and look at our preview and move down and there we go okay so notice that um, the infill is going layer layer and then no layer and then we hit our surface so that is the technique right there and by doing that that makes it so that the infill doesn't stick to that surface quite so hard and you can get a cleaner surface to remove that infill and then again you end up with this 
So that is my technique, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks.